Thank you, Snow. And Worcester is notorious, especially with that hilly terrain. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live there for us tonight. Ken? Liam, sleet has taken over here in Worcester for the most part, falling on top of three, maybe four inches of snow. But when all is said and done, I think the worst memories of this particular storm are going to be from that very first hour. Hospital Hill on Route 9 is never good when the snow ramps up fast and even worse when bolding tires lead the way. The roads are slippery and I can't go anywhere. About a mile of traffic behind you. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. In fact, it was an afternoon where folks were happy to surrender the wheel to a friend. I hate the snow. <laughs> That's why he's driving. <laughs> This is the kind of storm that challenges DPW crews right off the starting line because it sticks immediately, triggering quite a few encounters with roadside objects. All of the four cars that were with me right then, we all slid, but I got the bed in. Four-wheel drive was the only way to navigate some of these hilly streets, but not without a little fishtailing. You ordered pizza, it'll need the microwave on arrival. Jay, tell me what the traffic's been like. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, stop and go everywhere. For those guys in tow trucks, this might well be a sleepless night. I just came from a four-car accident right now. It's very, very slick out here. You got to watch out. You're going to be a busy man. Oh, all day today, all night tonight, you know it. Back out on that steep stretch of Route 9, city plows came to the rescue just as patience was starting to fade a bit. Very frustrating, yeah. They need to plow the roads better because this is ridiculous. Rather than dismiss kids early as many school systems do, Worcester cancel, canceled school altogether today. We don't have word yet on tomorrow, but it seems like given the amount of snow and the amount of time we have left before the buses roll tomorrow morning, they're likely to get in a school day. Live in Worcester tonight, Kevin McLeod, WBZ News. Well,